Hi everyone, this is Glenn Merrill with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. This briefing will discuss a continuation of active weather across the state and will focus on two key points. Downslope winds across the northern valleys along the Wasatch Front and snow across southern Utah. Downslope winds will continue to increase through this evening across the northern Wasatch Front with peak gusts expected to be late tonight through tomorrow morning. These easterly winds are expected to be strongest in Davis and Weber counties with peak gusts forecast to be in the 55 to 65 mile per hour range. Outside of those counties, strong easterly winds are expected to occur across the eastern portions of the Salt Lake Valley with gusts in, in the 35 to 55 mile per hour range focused across the east bench and the avenues. Eastern portions of the Cache Valley will see similar gusts and near the mouth of Provo Canyon where peak gusts should remain in the 35 to 40 mile per hour range. We are expecting these downslope winds to be a high impact event. Easterly crosswinds along I-15 north of Salt Lake City are expected to exceed 60 miles per hour at times, creating a blowover risk to high profile and lightweight vehicles. This is especially true from Bountiful north through Farmington. With all the low density snow on the ground, lots of blowing and drifting snow is expected, which will tend to accumulate on roadways, creating a longer than normal commute Tuesday morning across the Wasatch Front. Additionally, very low wind chills are expected with these winds, and it could feel as cold as minus 20 to minus 25 degrees during these strong gusts. Loose objects could become airborne, including trash cans and lawn ornaments, so attempt to secure or put these away prior to the winds increasing. It's time to take action, prepare for a longer commute, and it would be good to have a contingency plan in place for the potential of power outages and loss of heat, especially in Davis and Weber counties. The same storm system that will drive the downslope winds will bring significant snowfall across southern Utah late Tuesday into Thursday. The most significant snowfall, as highlighted on the graphic, will occur mostly south of Interstate 70, with totals greatest across southeastern Utah. The areas expected to see the most snowfall include Boulder, Escalante, Capitol Reef National Park, Bryce Canyon, and all the higher mountain areas. Utah's Dixie will be cold enough for some light snow, but we are expecting more wind than snow as northeasterly gap winds will develop, gusting in the 35 to 50 mile per hour range near the mouse, limiting snowfall potential there. There you have it, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. And as always, you can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks a lot.